Paradise, thanks for the host. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Um, I think we'll start by getting some fuel. Hey Donald, how are you buddy? Hey Dan, welcome as well. Hope you guys enjoy the stream. She's a little wet. Pretty good, Donald. How are you, buddy? Everything lights up in this Caprice. I love this thing. Dan, thanks for the host. I appreciate it, buddy. Hopefully we'll have a good patrol. A world full of civilians and one police officer. So this will be interesting. Uh, Donald... Uh, it's been out for about a couple of months. It's not old, old. What size my fuel cap on? That side. That'll work. That will work. Turn that off. Go 10-8 in the card. Oh, a new sheriff jumper. PD1 is still being made, but that's the new sheriff jumper. It looks pretty sweet. I like it a lot. <coughs> so I'm pretty happy with that. I wanted the PD ones made ages ago, but um, Ryan's only just getting them to him, which is fine. He's done a great job. I think they look awesome. Yeah, and Dan, you can also go like this. So when we do K9, PD will have the same option as well, but when you go K9, you can have the K9 on your back. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I do like it. I like it a lot. Alright, we're officially 10-8 and we're ready to go and fight crime and whatever else. Donald, um, Dan literally just did a thingy me jiggy that tells you, buddy. Yeah, I like it a lot, Dan. Like it a lot. I didn't know what to, what car to patrol in, so I just decided to take to take the Caprice. I was like, why not? <clears throat> it's new, and I really like the car a lot. I like it a lot. Can't really go wrong with a Caprice. We might just park up here for a little bit. Someone is selling me drugs. Where's that? Yellow Jack. Sam 320s, 1097 at the Yellow Jack for a drug call. Nearest postal, 949. Already a call, Dan. Yeah. I don't know about that Harbonero right there. Blaine County Sheriff's Department. We got a drug call. 
You guys see anything? No? Okay. You scumbagger! You scumbag! Maybe over the back, maybe? Where's the flashlight? That's what we want. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything here. Apart from that habanero that's parked a little interestingly. Zero one D. Let's run that. Zero one D. Nothing. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything there though, that's for sure. <coughs> Sam 320, I'll be clear back tonight. The takedowns, Dan, yeah, they look good. I like it. Might just go this way and have a look around here a little bit. Definitely didn't see anything though, in terms of drugs going on there. Might just get some money out in case we need to get fuel. Uh, let's just withdraw, what, $700? I think that'll do. Shouldn't need much more than that. Hey Psycho, how are you buddy? Welcome to the stream. You getting on? I 
I'm good, buddy. How are you? We might just check around the back here. Looks clear though. Could have been just a fake call, the whole um, drugs one. I don't really know. Jeez, look at that sunrise. Doesn't that look amazing? We should get a screenshot with that. I don't know where we could go, but... Here, maybe? We don't need that anymore. Yeah, it's not as gold as it was, but I mean, it's still alright. Pretty nice. New jacket, yes, psycho. There is a new jacket for the sheriffs. PDs will hopefully be soon. Oh, that sucks, Dan. Sand King on my ass. I thought we might have seen a speeding car around here considering that drug call, but not even one of them. Maybe that was an AI, that red um, alpha, because um, I saw that earlier too. Might be nothing.
Got a rusty old tow truck over there. Look at that thing. About as rusty as they get. We might just park here for a little bit and see if anything happens. It's not a bad spot to sit. Would you look at that, a motorcyclist over there with a bag on his back. I mean, that would get you around pretty quick, wouldn't it? He's acting a little suspicious. He's just slowly driving. I might try and check him out. He's moving. He accelerated pretty quick up that way. I don't know, chat. I don't know what I reckon about this guy. Definitely up to no good what I say about that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I've got nothing really to stop him for at the moment. Apart from he's shady as fuck. You wouldn't be surprised, Dan. I don't know. I'm going to hang in the area because I feel like he's up to something. I just don't know what. Sit here for a minute, see if there's anything that eventuates. I don't know, he was shady as fuck. I hope he doesn't try and rob it, Brand, uh, Dan. a bit of the problem.
Is that AI? I think that's AI. Yeah, that's AI. Driving like a complete piece of shit. Uh, one hot dog please and a sprunk. I oh, can keep the change. Thanks. Cyclist went. The motorcyclist. He's on a dirt bike as well. Which means he could be anywhere. Watch this boat for a little bit, we've got nothing else going on. This map is just so beautiful. I love this game. It's a very, very good game. I might go over to Grapeseed actually. Haven't been a grape seed for a little bit. Oh, that was some lag. Oh, hang on. Is that all the way in the city? I'm not going down the city if that's... Yeah, I'm not responding to that. Yeah, we're not responding to that, guys. No. We wouldn't even get there and they'd already be gone. Just go to grape seed. You had a good day so far, Dan.
Yeah, I wish it was Friday as well, to be honest. It would be it'd be pretty um pretty good if it was the weekend already, but oh well. A few more days of IRL work and it'll be the weekend. The weekend goes so fast though. That crop duster is gonna crash. Three-day weekend, yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Just that was a bit of a lag spot. One of my favourite spots to sit, right here. I really like this Caprice. Well, hopefully we get something. I think that would be nice. This car has one of the best interiors I've ever seen in a police car, this Caprice. I like it a lot. How you doing? Sit here for a couple of minutes and hopefully we'll get some. Where's that? At the, oh, at the prison. We'll respond to that. Oh, whoa, okay. Sam 320 in route to a drug call at the prison. I think that was my, yeah, that's my controller doing that weird jank shit there. I don't know what that's about. Don't know what that's about. Why is my controller not following the car? What the fuck?
not have a look. Too many ways in and out of this prison though. Especially if he's on a bike. Or an off-road sort of vehicle. Sam 320s, 1097. You call the cops, sir? Something about a drugs? Some drugs being sold? No? Okay. Anything stick out to anybody in the chat? Sir, you okay? Hey, alright. Figured as much. Yeah, I'm not saying anything yet either. Nearly just took that sign out. Rip. Looks like another dead end. guys I don't know we came down this way so he probably could if it was somebody up here depending on the type of vehicle they had they could have gone on route 68 why is my controller doing it's the mouse why is the mouse doing that the cord on the mouse. I don't know what's going on with that. Just realised the mouse cord was moving. Can you open the gate, sir? Thank you. Sam, three twenty. I'll be clear back tonight. My hunch is it's that guy on the bike with the backpack, but I didn't even see him. And I didn't see him in the first one either, that first 911 call. Nearly just rear ended that tow truck. Too busy looking at chat. Sound red, sound 213, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, yay, another unit. 
Ahmed is on. Welcome. Welcome, Ahmed. Wash our car here at the fuel station, which is a little dirty. Sit here, maybe we'll blend in. I don't know. I don't know. Might as well sit here for a minute. Our visit to Grape Sea didn't take very long. Make sure these tow drivers are driving sensibly. Here another plane. There it is. Beautiful sunset in the distance. A nice sunrise and a nice sunset. What more could you ask for? Who's AI stopping for a rat crossing the road? Don't know, guys. I don't know. Hey Charlie, ten eight in spirit. Why aren't you here in person then? You got a job interview early in the morning. Oh, okay. Are you leaving the fire service? Gotcha.
I don't know what these fuckers are doing with drugs and stuff, but I just don't know where they are. Oh shit. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Yeah, I know she had some free time. So what sort of job did you apply for? Operating heavy, heavy machinery. Well, that, that really narrows it down, Charlie. Very good explanation right there. Very descriptive. And just, just very helpful in general. Oh, come on. I'm not responding to that either. Oh yeah. Cool. Cool Leo. I'll try and pull back just a little bit so that it's hard to see me from that other lane. Yeah, that might be too obvious. No, Ahmed just got on, so that now there's two of us. Now there's two. Here's Ahmed. Speaking of sheriffs. Oh, I was going to talk to him, but he's like, nope. <laughs> Ahmed's like, goodbye. Things to do, places to see. I guess. <laughs> It's my hiding spot, Charlie. 
The thing was, I was probably going to move soon anyway, to be honest. I mean, if he wants it, he can have it. Fifty-seven. I think that's an AI. That's definitely an AI. I can hear them coughing. Yeah, Charlie, I really like this Caprice a lot. The lights on it are amazing as well. You're gonna die, stupid coyote. I never used to be a fan of the Caprice because it was a rip-off of a car that's made here. But um, this one's really grown on me. I actually really like this one. The Caprice or the one that's made over here? Hey Nemo. How you doing buddy? They start production of what? They don't make Commodores anymore, not in Australia anyway. Nemo's not here for you Charlie, he's here for me. Yeah, no more Aussie made one, no. They stopped making them like a year ago. We've now got some ugly European Commodore. I mean, the front of the new one is, it's okay-ish, but it's still pretty ugly. Of course, that's an AI driving like that, Jesus. Yeah, that's incorrect there, Smith. Sorry to tell you. Oh, you meant Chevy, okay. What's Google? <laughs> mm. 
Might have to set my speed limit up a bit. Maybe. What are you up to, Nemo? That's it, stop your tow truck for that red light. How do you tell what's an AI and what is a fucking an actual player going around that corner? Like, look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> like, how do you even tell? That's something how I would drive into that corner. Ah, oh, Steve's. I haven't used that for so long. Not up to a lot. That's 149, are you fucking kidding me? 149! Sam 320, high rate of speed vehicle, South Sonora Way, going towards the Utah 150 plus. That was a grey blister compact, two door. That definitely wasn't AI, Nemo. We're never going to catch that. No fucking clue. Sam 320, I have no eyes. Somewhere near the U2 I lost eyes. Could have gone into Sandy. Holy shit. Hundred and forty nine. Yeah, that, that definitely wasn't AI. In the rain and all that like that, Jesus. I don't know if he would have got... I think at that speed he probably would have kept going to the city, to be honest. I'm probably just going to park here somewhere, to be honest. I don't even know why I bothered pulling out. We're never gonna catch up to that. <laughs> That's pretty quick for a blister compact, I'm not gonna lie. Whoever was driving that did very well to get it to that speed. They should be proud.
Nemo, you're a mastermind. Where would you go if you were caught speeding at that speed? Sounds like Jeremy to me, yeah. It sounds like Mr. Fatugly, or Fat Ugly, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> he, he might be dead somewhere, yeah, maybe. You better hope we don't get called to it. got the need for speed, yeah. Oh, look who's here. No lights on. No lights. It's driving a little aggressively. Okay, that's gonna do it. Sam 320, I'm going to have a vehicle failure to yield. Route 68 northbound, going on a panorama. Uh, he's now pulling over. We're going to be pulled over near the Yellow Jack if I can get one additional unit. Nearest postal, 949. Sam 23 is Well, this guy could probably just go to jail at this point. That's some pretty shit driving right there. I thought he was taking off, he like overtook everyone. HCW. Doesn't come back. HCW. Why is it not writing? HCW. Yeah. This car doesn't even come back registered. Where did our med go? I saw him driving this way. I see our med, he's coming eastbound. Be advised, the vehicle's taking off. Northbound Panorama Drive. Yep, there it goes. Passing the Yellow Jack, approaching the airfield. Still northbound Panorama. Westbound Joshua, just TC'd. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, put your hands up. Face the other way, sir, face the other way. Walk slowly back to the sound of my voice. Take three steps back. Stop. Sam 321 times 1015. Is that you, Mr. Fatugli? Yes. Uh, what are you running for today? He's coming to kill me. Who's coming to kill you? My boss. Your boss. So you thought... Yeah. 
So you thought you would evade the police? Well, I pulled over to start with, but then I got the message that he was coming after me, so I just had to get out of there. Right, right, okay. So, I, I don't know if I buy that, sir. So you got anything on his gun stick, poke or herders? No. I'm not going to lie, uh, Mr. Fatugli, that was a pretty poor attempt at getting away from the police. Well, I'm not really that concerned about the police right now. I'm more concerned about my boss. I was trying to get out of the area. Right, Where, whereabouts is your cell phone? The Caprice looks good, it does. In my front pocket, I think. Alright, alright, oh, I'm going to grab no, it. Sorry, it's in the front seat of the car. Oh, okay. Um, Ed, has he got a phone over there that you can look at? I'll just take a look at that. Where was it? Where was it, Tom? Now he claims it's on the on the in the car somewhere near the console or something. All right. What's your boss's name, Mr. Fat Ugly? It's Fatugly. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Not really. Well. I don't know his real name, but he goes by K. So you don't know your boss's name and he goes by K. I don't know if I'm buying this story already. I don't know if I'm buying what you're selling, sir. Tom, I found the phone. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Let me have a look at that. I'll just search the car. Yeah. Um, so, Mr. Fatugli, if I was to look on your phone, whereabouts would I look for these messages that you so-called received from someone called Kay, who is apparently your boss, but you've never met him before? It's... I, I've met him before. Right. I just don't know what his actual real name is. He's called Kay. He's called Kay. Okay, well, I'm seeing the message here. It doesn't... Doesn't really explain why you ran. I mean, the police were on scene. We could have protected you, but now you're you're fleeing and eluding a police officer. Well, I mean, the police can't protect me. Right. No. So he shot one of them the other week. He sh he shot a police officer, did he? Yeah, apparently they came up to him at the docks or something and he shot them and, and got away. Now, do you know what the postal of the dock is, sir? Uh, about 16, 17, that sort of area. And you said, and you said a police officer was shot at down there. Well, yeah, that's what he was telling us. Right. Yeah, I was down there. About it. I was down there staking out a location a few a, a week or so ago, and I got my ass lit up. So, I, I'm kind of interested to know where Mr. K is. Holy shit! Well, I mean, now that kind of gives you an example of why I was trying to get away. Well, I mean, I was only there by myself. I mean, me and Ahmed were there. We could have protected you, so there was no need to run. He's like... He's so far... He's so far gone, he doesn't give a shit about cops. Right. There's nothing you could have yeah, done. Yeah, Tom, nothing is in the car. Okay, we'll get a tow truck out here for that, because, I mean, it's pretty destroyed as well. Yeah, I'll call for one. So, sir, when did you receive this text message? Like, just av as you pulled me over. That's why I got out of there. Right. Standard did you just come from Polito Bay, Bay, sir? 10, 70, location. Well, the Ah, uh, I was at Polito Bay way earlier today. Like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago? 
Oh, probably a little bit longer than that, but I was up there for a, um, for some business, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So did you did you come back down south on the 13 to go towards the city? Um, well, I was heading back that way to try and explain what happened. And Hang on, explain what happened to who? Other... Well, can I like, can I talk to someone who who's able to offer me a deal or immunity or something? So the only person who's able to give you a deal at this point in time is me, and it all depends on what you're about to tell me, I guess. Let's just say the police in the state aren't quite on the same page as most of the rest of the world <laughs> what? Uh, when it comes to medicinal marijuana. So my job is to help out those people who need it. Right. And I kind of left my car unlocked and someone stole the whole supply that I was supposed to be delivering to the patients up in Polito Bay. So I was trying to get back to explain to my boss what happened and then I got a text message from one of the other guys down at the um, down at the place where he was and he told me that Kay was just going completely nuts smashing things up and shooting his gun around like literally inside the office and I'm just like okay fuck that I'm not going down there so I was heading back this way to try and lay low in Sandy Shores for a couple of days. Yeah, see, we've got another issue, Mr. Fatugli, as I clocked you doing 149 miles per hour southbound Route 13, weaving in and out of traffic in the rain. Can you prove that was me? Um, I mean, if I can, if I go and review my dash cam, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could. And you pretty much just admitted to me that you went speeding to get back to go and talk to your boss. Well, I mean, it was pretty important that I talked to him, but then... Well, Mr. Fatugli, at this time you have been placed under arrest for reckless and careless driving and fleeing and eluding a police officer. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do, ma'am, will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand? I guess so. Now, with that in mind, do you wish to keep talking? Well... It depends. Um, are any of these charges likely to go away if I have information? Uh, some of these charges might be likely to be downgraded or one or two of them might be possible to be looked the other way on depending on whether you give me credible information and an actual arrest of some of some kind Well If I give you information That's basically it like if I give you information, I'm on the next flight out of this country, because otherwise I will be dead. Mr. Fatugli, deals don't work like that, okay? You give me what, what I need to hear and know, and if it pans out, then you get what you want, okay? Yeah, but if I tell you, and he fucking sees you guys snooping around, then... Whoever's snooping around's gonna end up dead. I'm gonna end up dead. He's got people on the inside of the prison, man. Like, you wouldn't believe how many contacts he has. Like, there's, there's no way. Mr. Fatugli, at the end of the day, it's completely up to you whether you want a deal or not, okay? 
I can give you a deal if this information pans out and I can have you on the first flight out of here and in witness protection. But if you want to go down the road of protecting your boss and being loyal, that's completely up to you, but I'll throw you in a hole, do you understand? Well, I mean, that's, like, not what I'm saying. I'm telling you that if you can get me out of here as soon as I've given you a location... Yeah, and like I, like I just said to you, the only way you're getting out of here like that is whether it turns into something actually credible. You don't leave until we get something out of it. Well... I mean, my life's on the line in here. Yes, and you would be sat in witness protection with some officers outside a, a safe zone. And if the information you give uh, pr comes back as, you know, credible and worthy and we get a good arrest or something out of it, the US Marshals can fly you out of here. If you jerk us around and give us something crap and it's nothing, you'll be straight back in a hole. Do you understand? Well, I mean, I understand that, but if I give you that oh my god, I just can't stay here. Well... Literally what I just offered you is the best deal you're going to get, sir, from me. Well, I mean, I guess... The, the, yes, sir, the Mr. Fatugli, I'll give you five minutes to think about it and then my offer expires, okay? You know, you can be in witness protection on the mainland somewhere, sitting at a beach, drinking a... Um, friggin, I don't know, some alcoholic beverage, or you can spend the next 20 years in a prison cell. I mean, at least if I was in the prison cell, I'd probably stay alive. Well, like you just said to me, Mr. Fatugli, he has people working in there and he might want you sh to shut up, so go ahead and take a seat in the back of the car. Like I said, I'll give you five minutes to think about the deal and I'll come back. We'll see if he takes the deal, Ahmed. It's up to him at the end of the day. Yeah. Hey, uh, so I'm gonna have to, um, reverse, uh, to get up to the back of the vehicle. So if you could move that, uh, Caprice out of the way, that'd be great. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate it. Uh, and also, could you block the road for me, please, while I do it? Um, that's a negative from me. That AI just goes straight around. I think he wanted the other light. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Jesus. Two thirteen. If you want to block off the intersection oh up here, Lord. at panorama. Vocals are crazy today. Jesus. Officer. Officer, that was fucking him. Huh? I'm pretty sure that was probably him. Who? And the blue car who was trying to fucking crash into everything. No, sir, that was just a, a local. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're safe. Told you they were coming to kill me. Sir, no one's coming to kill you, okay? I mean, you saw the message on my phone yourself. Yeah, I, I saw the message. I don't. I still think you're gonna be fine. We'll just block off this lane for now until I get this tow truck out of here. 
Don't you hit my car. Truly Irish, this is City Life RP. You made a decision on what you want to do, Mr. Fatugli? Well, I think my mind is kind of made up, given the circumstances. So, and what's that? You want to go to jail? That's my best chance at life. I disagree, but um, I mean, if that's where you want to go and possibly be shanked to shut up, then that's up to you. All right, my uh, my job is done here, so um, y'all are good to clear out. All right, thank you. I guess his car wouldn't go on the tow truck. I yeah, guess. no problem. Dun, 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 dun. Taking orders from a tow truck driver, are you? I didn't hear any orders given just then, sir. But where you're going, you won't be given any orders, I, I can tell you that much. You never know. Better watch for this guy called Kay, we don't want to be T-boned. So do you know where this Mr. K lives, sir? I only know where he works. Where does he work? No one knows where he actually lives. Well, in the interests of staying alive, I'm, I can't tell you. Is that right? Go ahead and step out. In the interest of me going lighter on your jail sentence, how about you give me what I want to know? Lighter on my jail sentence? Yeah, you see, that's not going to work. If he finds out that I talked, then he'll kill me. Well, I did offer you witness protection, Mr. Fatugli, but you didn't, you didn't want to take that, so go ahead and walk inside. I'll go and find Mr. K by myself. Well... The witness protection that you provide just wouldn't work. Yes, yeah, so you keep saying, Mr. Fatugli. Hang out right there. I'll go and find K like myself. Putting me in a, it'd be like putting me in a tissue paper box. Okay. <laughs> paper tissue box. There it is. We offered him a deal. He wouldn't take it. So that's not our problem. Would you look at that? You're also driving on a suspended license and the car wasn't registered. Well, it's not my car. No shit. And I don't actually think my license was suspended. I don't remember that happening. This guy. Sir, I'm currently looking at your DMV picture and it's it's clearly you in the picture and it says license suspended. Well shit. How is a misdemeanor only two thousand dollars? I think they forgot to add a zero on there. I'm, I'm adding a zero. There's no way it's two thousand dollars. There's just no way. No way. So whereabouts did you get the car from? It 
It's a work car. Right, that just isn't registered. Well, I mean, I don't know the, the whole story with how they get their vehicles, but they don't register them. What do you mean the same thing, Dan? Like it's too quiet or it's echoing? Can we give this guy? Sounds like I'm on the other side of the room. Okay. What about now? That's a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Is that better, Dan? Three charges. We got reckless, suspended license, and fleeing and eluding. Alright, hang on. What about now, Dan? Please tell me that's better. All right. If that's not better, then I don't know what to do. Oops, wrong one. It's better, okay. Perfect. All right, Mr. Fotogli, you have three charges, two misdemeanors and one felony. You have one hundred and ninety thousand dollars in the bail. Would you like to pay that or be incarcerated? Well, I'm gonna be incarcerated for my own safety. Sir, sir, I offered you a deal. You didn't want to take it. Now that's what the court system's for. So if the judge and the jury feel that you were, you know, being threatened for your life and you know you feared so much for your life and all that, they might go lenient on you. Okay. Well, unless you can get me witness protection in a different country, then... Sir, I offered you witness protection in a, di in a different country, and you said no. No, you said I couldn't leave the country. No, I said you couldn't leave until I made an arrest, and then once I made the arrest, you could fly somewhere wherever the fuck the US Marshals wanted to take you. You said no. Yeah, but I'd have to leave the country before yeah. you made the okay. arrest. So I'm going to uncuff you. You're going to move over to the double doors to my left. And you're going to stand there and the booking officer is going to take you, okay? Alright. Well, that's the wrong button. We'll just make sure you've got nothing else loose on you before we send you. You've already done that. Alright, go ahead and stand over there. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. 17. Jail. 17. Four minutes. Being a prick. Thanks for the backup, Ahmed. That's alright. Feels it, like it's been raining for 
He just now. Oh yeah, she's been raining um, the whole time I've been on duty. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, but it's too much. <laughs> yeah, I heard it might be going to get worse too, so I don't know. I guess put a rain jacket on or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, stay safe out there. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I w I'd definitely put on a jacket or a jumper, Ahmed. Yeah, I guess I will. Yeah, we the department got some new ones. You're welcome to... I think there's a few out there in the back of the locker room. I'll go try one out right now. Pretty sure there's even the heavy duty rain jacket as well. Yeah, I'll go search for one now. I'm so mean. Yeah, I enjoy it though. Alright. I love a good bit of thunder and lightning. If I didn't do that, I'd be sunning every single day in the server. Because um, that's how we've been controlling it. Because I hate it being rainy all the time. <laughs> Even jail won't keep you safe from me. Make sure this guy's okay. Sir, are you okay? Jonathan, thanks for the raid, buddy, and welcome to the stream. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I was just finishing up my lunch right here. All right, I was just making sure you're okay, sir. You look like you're just leaning on the steering wheel pretty hard there. Yeah, no, I'm good. All right, just be careful in this rain, okay? You have a good one. All right, you too, deputy. Sam 320, clear back tonight. Oh, that thunder's loud as fuck. I love it. It's nice for a change. I hate it being like that all the time. Oh, look at that. Oof. Oof. She's going to be a stormy night and then she'll clear in the morning. I reckon that's what will happen. Thunder looks really good. Thunder looks amazing. We might go and fill up the car so we don't have to get back out in it and wash it.
definitely getting intense. Good thing we wore our um, new shirt, our new jumper. I actually might go and put on my rain jacket, to be honest, because it's pretty bad. Might even have one in the trunk of the car. Stop up here at the yellow jack and put a jacket on. hear the sirens over the thunder. <coughs> Sam 320 traffic stop, Chola Road and Panorama Drive, nearest postal 1020 on a blue four-door BMW. D-O-D-N. Deputy Hunt with Blaine County Sheriff's Department, how are you tonight? Not too bad yourself, Deputy. Uh, I'm not so happy because I have to get out in this thunder and lightning, sir, but um, the reason for the stop is you were speeding, okay? You got your license, registration and proof of insurance on you? Yeah, yeah, let me grab all that for you. Now that Caprice looks amazing in the rain and the dark. There you go, here's my ID and all the paperwork. The name is uh, Jonathan Spinner. Okay, Mr. Spinner, I believe we've met before and I gave you a written warning for speeding, okay? So just hang out and I'll be back here with you, okay? All right. Sixty-nine and a fifty. I think we might have to just give him a ticket, to be honest. Northbound Panorama Drive. Infractions. We'll just give him the one to nine over. Nothing too excessive. And the other issue is it's raining as well, so it's pretty heavy. He needs to be driving sensibly and stuff like that. Alright, Mr. Spinner, you're getting a citation today. It's fear speed, okay? Because you were doing 69 and a 40. In, sorry, in a 50, so that's 19 over the limit. I've knocked it down to 1 to 9 over, okay? Alright. I just need your signature at the bottom, sir. It's not a mission of guilt. It just means you'll pay the fine and um, you understand the ticket, okay? Now, you can pay the ticket now. There you go. I'll sign up. No worries. You can pay the ticket now or at the end of the month, but if you don't pay the bench warrant, it'll be placed after your arrest. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand. 
Alright, slow it down for me and have a safe safe morning, okay? You're free to pull off once I shut off my lights. Alright, thank you. Sam 320, I'll be clear back today. We'll just use the servo here to get a jacket, because that is, that is wet as fuck. Turn the radio up. Couldn't hear our men. Mr. Fatogli, can you hear me? It was him. It was who? K. Alright, was it, was the... They ambushed the prison transport. Okay. Do you know where they went? I'm bleeding out. Did you call for medics, Ahmed? No. Yeah. What was that, sir? Sir, if you're taking my deal, Mr. Fatogli. I'll just clear uh, the car, car park
the photography, hang in there, okay, medics are on their way. The medics are rolling up now. Alright, medics are just here now. I'll let them take over. He seems to be unconscious, guys. A couple of GSWs to the chest. I saw lots of uh, shell casings over here, along with skid marks. Does it look like the skid marks go that way or this way? They're going to the exit over there. Alright, we might just walk that way quickly while the EMS are going him, just make sure it's completely secure. Nothing down the scope. Yeah, I don't see nothing even over here. Even in the car park, they didn't seem to go in. The barrier is still there, so they didn't smash through. Yeah, it looks like they just got here, ambushed them at the gate, and then took off. I think someone from the prison is here to talk to us. Well, let's go and have a talk then. Officers. Yes. Yeah. So, um, we had a prisoner coming in, and our van was ambushed. Um, they were just taking him out. They were just taking him out, and some shots from up in those hills. We heard shots from up in those hills there somewhere. And he's hit the hit the prisoner and killed one of our guards. Right, there were some shell casings down here, so one of them must have come down as well and started shooting. Yeah, the whole place went nuts. There was a car that took off over in that direction, went down the road. Right. Did you get a look at the vehicle? Um, the vehicle was, it was kind of a strange thing. I've never seen one before. It was kind of like an off-roady type sand dune buggy. Almost a little bit like a tractor. It had great big wheels at the back and little ones at the front. Right. Did you see anything else, sir? No, that's about ice, all I saw. Um, I was over in the office and I heard the shots and I looked out the window and uh, that's when I saw the car taking off down the road. Right, okay. I remember it was, um, it didn't have much bodywork, but of the bodywork uh, that was there, it was like a greyish, grey colour, shiny, shiny grey. 
Okay. Um, no one else was hit, or you've got no other inmates um, on the loose or anything like that? No, no. They hadn't even opened the main gates. They were just taking him out of the prison transport bus when it happened. Okay. Alright, well, EMS has got your guy and um, the, the inmate. We're going to clear off and try and keep an eye out for this vehicle then and the subjects. Yeah. We're going to be in lockdown for probably the rest of today, I think. Um, what we do a couple of internal investigations and look at our procedures and stuff. All right, yeah. Um, if you, once you guys can pull the CCTV footage, um, there'll probably be a detective down here shortly to grab that as well. So if one of your guys can get into that as well. Yeah, I'll um, I'll go and get one of the one of the one of the guys who actually knows how that stuff works to um to pull that for you yeah all right then thanks Phil thanks for the response gentlemen no worries all right Ahmed I'll see you out there be safe buddy what just keep an eye out for these right. you too. these people yeah Oops, there goes my phone. Alright, Sam 320, I'll be clear back tonight. The thunder is over. Sam 2 and 3, Sam traffic. So there's no more thunder. Um, that's clearing, the rain is clearing. Rip the phone, yeah, I know, Dan. Um, it'll probably stop raining here shortly as well, to be honest. Probably put a bit of cloud over. And that'll do it for the rain, I reckon. It was one of ha hell of a good storm, I enjoyed the shit out of that. Ahmed didn't even go and put on a jacket. Highly disappointed. Hey, wake up. A couple of very interesting um, things happened tonight in terms of that little pursuit we had and the whole thing there at the um, prison. Um, well, we just clocked him. Sam 320, 1050, westbound Route 68 on a bluish-purple BMW four-door nearest postal. 
935213 will be out with me. Mr. Spinner, is that you? Uh, yeah, it is. So, so you're out here doing exactly the same thing, and I pulled you over about eight hours ago for, for a very similar offence. She gets away from me. She's a fast car. Right, you got your license, registration, proof of insurance on you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's all this paperwork. All right. Hang out here, Mr. Spinner, and I'll be back with you, okay? Uh, what what speed did you clock him at? Got him at 46. He just slammed on the brakes when he close by. Yeah, I got him at 93. Oh, that's that's 30 over. Yeah, he was he was hella moving it and. He was also overtaking when there was that other car coming the other way as well, very dangerously. Yeah, if he keeps doing this, the car needs to go. Yeah, I think we'll hit him with one big citation, the reckless driving. Um, if he gets pulled over again tonight for the same offence, then I guess we'll take the car. Yeah, I guess. Alright, I'll go and do the paperwork. Okay, I'll just stay in in case he takes off. We already have him up. Guess he gets another ticket. Westbound route 68. Kind of want to make sure what speed we actually did clock him at. I don't know if it'll tell me in the passenger seat. 93. We did get him at 93. Which is, yeah, that is 30 plus over the limit. Whoever did these fucked up the fine and fine amounts. 5,000 is meant to go to 50. 3.5 is meant to go to 30. Have to get that fixed. And then we have the aggressive, careless driving. Not a good day for Mr. Spinner. 2000 $5,500. Alright, Mr. Spinner, uh, you're getting two more citations. Um, you're getting one for aggressive, careless driving, and the other is for your speed. You're doing 30 over. You're, you're actually doing 30 plus over the speed limit, okay? So you have $5,500 in fines, okay? Alright. Now. Yeah, um, like I said at the other stop you have till the end of the month or you can pay it now to pay the tickets if you don't pay them the Bench warrant will be placed out on your arrest. You understand? Yeah, I understand Okay, um, I do I do require your signature on the bottom if here just means that you understand it's not a mission of guilt There you go now mr. Spinner here's your license and registration and all that back sir now, if you don't slow it down and start driving sensibly and following the road rules, sir, we may have to tow the car the next time, okay? Alright. So, so what are you going to do? Drive.
drive responsibly. Okay, that's what I want to hear. So when I get back to my car and shut off my emergency lights, you'll be free to go, okay? But you need to slow it down. You're not the only one on the road, okay? So start following the road rules. All right. All right. Ahmed, you're free to clear off if you wanted to. Yeah, we got a call about uh, some guy from the prison wants to talk to the DCSO. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you want, you can take that. That's up to you. Alright, I'll just head back. Alright, sounds good. Alright, stay safe. Waste a bit of his time. Sam 320, I'll be clear back 10 8. We might also put my jumper back on. We don't need this massive, ridiculous raincoat on anymore. Sandra is Sam 3. I'll be heading back to DTSO station. We don't need this jacket on anymore. Oh, wrong button. Rip. Alright, body cam, we'll put that one back on. Some cyclists. Alright, I think that's how we looked. Hey Vash, how are you doing buddy? I think that's how we looked. What's up with this cord on the fucking mouse? It keeps... I don't know, it's like it's got too much cord going on or some crap. Tired but good, that's good. Some of those AI move it through there. Thought that AI was gonna turn just then. Yeah, look at this guy. He's still driving aggressively. Sandra, it's time to enter I'll be ten seven ten forty two. Have a good night. Have a good night.
I don't know, this guy's driving like a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, we're just gonna stalk him for a little bit and... He's still driving like a... Sh I don't know, I don't know if I... Oh my god, that AI is gonna kill me. I don't know, we'll see if he fucks up. We'll chase him into the PD jurisdiction. Because we don't want him. He's trying to he's trying to keep it under the limit too. He'll probably start smashing it now that I've turned off. Oh well, he's a PD problem now. Back to being a lone patrol officer. Which is kind of realistic, to be honest, for a small town like Sandy Shores. It's not like they're going to have ten cops on at a time. You're good, Psycho. I roll comes first, buddy. I'm probably not far away from going 42 either, to be honest. Because I have to go to bed for work tomorrow. You couldn't hear Jay-Z over the thunderstorm. I could hear him. Have you, have you got your volume turned up, buddy? On the voice chat thing? I mean, it is hard to hear it with the thunderstorm in general. But, um... It's all... Go, 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 go. I didn't clock him, but he's fucking flying.
Yeah, I'm not gonna be on much longer, Vash. Sam 3 20 10 50 westbound route 68 nearest postal 949 on the same BMW Mr. Spinner Yeah deputy go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please Why do I need to step out of the car? Mr. Spinner just step out of the vehicle, please and move over to the side of the road. Now, you used to drive an Audi R7 or RS7, correct? Oh yeah, I still got that car. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, had, I, I arrested you previously for reckless and careless driving and then you decided to flee and elude me when I tried to tow your car, wasn't that correct? Yeah, that may or may not have happened. Yeah, so I didn't clock you going down Joshua Road, but you were friggin' hauling ass, okay? Okay. Okay. So this is my last chance with you. I, okay. You slow it down or I'm taking the car. Do you understand? Alright. I understand, Deputy. Last chance. You either go down the racetrack and you burn rubber on their shitty friggin' racetrack or you keep racing on my racetrack and I'm going to impound your car and I'm going to arrest you. Do you understand? Alright. I understand, Deputy. Now get in your car and get out of my sight and start doing the right thing. Alright. Lose the smart ass attitude, kid. Keep it under 50. But the speed limit's 55 on this road. I don't care. Uh, the car will go next time, so I, I didn't I didn't clock him, so I'm not gonna be a hard ass on him on that one. If I had a clocked him, it would have been a different story. That's it, just rear end me. Fuck Todd. This is a pretty eventful patrol to be honest. Pretty damn eventful. See you, buddy. Have a good day at work. Yeah, Vash, sometimes you do. Maybe I should have gave him my um, card and we could have gone and shown him a traffic accident or something and shown him that that's what could happen to him one day. I mean, we could still do that if we see him again. Can't keep driving around like that. It's just not on. 10.42. Yeah, tonight has been very interesting patrol, to be honest. Looks like he's now flying down Panorama. Sir, are you okay? I... Yep. Excuse me? 
Okay, look. Henry Shield from the uh, from the prison again. Who? Sorry. Um. Who are you? Oh, sorry. No, you're not the person I talked to before. I'm very sorry. It's been a mix-up. Um, I was down here just before, and I've accidentally given him a blank SD card instead of the SD card with the CCTV footage from the prison incident. Right. So here is the correct SD card. Okay, thank you. Which shows, which shows the vehicle in question. Okay. I, I'll I'll pass it on to the detectives and they'll put out a bowl on whatever for it, sir. We appreciate you bringing the actual SD down here. No worries. Have a good day. All right. Same to you, sir. That guy is a wanker. Did you see the way he drove in here and walked in here like he was the most important person in the world? No, we don't want to wear that. Yeah, we'll wear that. That'll do. Alright. We'll drive home. This will be the new personal vehicle instead of the Caprice. Yeah, Vash. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, dude. We were nearly just involved in a crash. Jesus. Oh, Brandon, I, I was going to if I pull you over again. If I had a clocked you on radar, I would have towed it. You were lucky I didn't clock you, to be honest. But Tom is going home. How is this car already dirty? Jeez, it's been some really nice sunsets, to be honest. Oh God, oh God. If I was in a patrol car, I would pull them over. Those fuckers. How does a car get dirty that quick? That is so unlegit. And the dirt texture on this isn't the best either, unfortunately. Fucking tow drivers, yeah, exactly. I noticed they couldn't tow um, Jeremy's car again. 
It only ever seems to be Jeremy stuff that people can't tow, which is comical. That's a stop sign. See, this is already dirty. What the fuck? Have I got the dirt level on or some shit? It's on no dirt. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I would like Ryan in the future to take out the dirt textures on all the cars. And then you can just choose if you want them to be dirty or not. It's very annoying. But, oh well. See, it's already dirty again. That's going to be the fastest way to my house. Oh god, what the fuck are you doing? You spastic. Yeah, I don't know Vash either. Back into the city. Yeah, I'm not even going to RP the whole washing of this thing, because that's ridiculous. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Dumb fox. Literal idiots. Yeah, good idea, Bash. Yeah, the AI suck. Literally. Literally suck. We'll go and get that buffed out tomorrow, I guess. Show vehicle health. Ooh, we don't want that. That must be a new thing. Beep beep. I love that locking script. I just like the beeping. It's what my real car does in real life. I love it. I love it. Alrighty. Artificial idiots. It is so stupid.
The view is amazing, Dan. Yeah, I, I really like this house. All the clues I get for free. Barely got any clues. Not a whole lot of people to raid. I think I've raided this guy before. We'll raid him again. Because why not, eh? Why not? Alrighty, guys. That is going to do it for this stream. It's been a lot of fun, actually. It was a very, very nice patrol. But that is going to do it for this one. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all next time.